Well, hello, everybody. Bill and Deb. Hi. Let us bring you up to speed right quick. I think that's a good idea, don't you? Yes, we've had all kinds of exciting news, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but for those of you that haven't been following lately, uh, we have sold our current trailer. Our 16-footer. Yeah. We're in the process of uh, waiting for an another trailer to be built in order for us to build it out on the inside. Yes, another cargo trailer. Yeah, exactly. And we're still in this one, of course, the 7x16. And this trailer has served us quite well for almost two years now. Two years in just a few days. Yeah, March 1 I will know. be two years that we have right. lived in this trailer. And it's done quite well. And yes. And we're, we're going to miss her in so many ways. Absolutely. We put yeah. a lot of blood, sweat, and tears in this one. Yeah, we did. <laughs> we did. But uh, everything has always worked all along. You yes. know, didn't have anything break loose on us or anything like that nope. from traveling down the road. It's been cool. No, nope. So that gave us the courage to build another one. Right? Yeah. And, and <laughs> the more you and I discuss things we're going to do, I'm realizing it's going to require a lot more courage yes. on my part. It will require a lot more um, understanding. <laughs> understanding on my part. <laughs> <laughs> or something like that. Well, hey, it's just what you do. You know, it's just those things that you do. But anyway, what we thought we would do, we would th go through, uh, we drew up a, uh, a basic floor plan to, uh, to go over how the new floor plan is going to look. First off, let's talk about the trailer itself before we actually uh, put the uh, floor plan on the screen. It's going to be an 8.5 by 20 and it's going to have a solid wall across the back. Uh, we will have two RV style doors on the side, one at the back and one towards the front. It's going to be seven six tall and there's a reason for that. The current one that we have now is seven feet tall but we added an extra six inches in height on the new one and it will be a slant nose uh, even though I complained about building out the yes, he interior. Did. If any of you have who watched those videos knows yeah. that he complained and carried on something awful and said oh, if he I, ever build another trailer it would not have a, a slant, slant nose. nose. But and guess what? Yeah, well I just think it's gonna look so much better, <laughs> you know. And I know how to do it now. So oh, okay. I've got a better idea how to do it. So All there. right. We will be installing our own windows, but the exact placement of those windows yet we have yet to be determined. Well, I know where I want them. Yeah. It just depends upon where I can put them. <laughs> yeah. Because we're not wanting to cut any, how did Marvin say that? There will be uh, no... No studs violated. In this, in this build. No. <laughs> no metal studs <laughs> violated in the building of this trailer because we're getting windows that will fit between each metal stud. Yes. And for a larger opening, we'll simply stack them out to end up with a larger opening is what we'll do. So... How's that? That is the plan yeah. in a nutshell. Yeah. Um, okay. So. so I guess what we'll do, we'll go ahead and put the uh, the uh, floor plan up on the screen now, and here it is. It's just a basic diagram. Yeah, just a basic diagram. Uh, what this will not indicate, of course, is the overheads that we'll have and things like that, so you'll have to bear with us on that. We have had a couple of folks reach out to us to help us with a CAD-style drawing in a 3D format. Of course, so uh, you might be able to visualize this, and whether we're able to get that all done before we start actual production yet, it remains to be seen as well. Mm -hmm. um, it's all up here. <laughs> and here. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and uh, and we, here and here may not jive. Yeah, and you just, oh, oh boy, Sorry. I'm glad I was wearing my glasses. <laughs> Sorry. But uh, anyway, um, yeah. So let's start with the, and you're looking at it right now. Let's start with the uh, back of the trailer and look in the upper left-hand corner of your screen and you'll see that's where the shower is going to be. Now the shower is a 34 inch by 48 inch shower, correct? The shower pan, yes. Yeah, the shower pan itself. So we'll, and the current <laughs> one we have now is like a 32 by 32. So this is, uh, this is gonna be a lot roomier than the one we had before. Now, if you look immediately to the right, up in the upper left-hand corner of your screen, if you look immediately to the right, you'll see a wall uh, that's drawn in there. And that wall will be a minimum of four inches wide. That is, not where, that is what we're not exactly sure about, how, exactly how wide it will be, but it will be a minimum of, of four inches wide or four inches deep or thick. 
Um, it may end up being a little bit more than that, but that's also where the plumbing will be housed for the, uh, for the shower head and things like that. Now it's going to come out from that, from the upper left hand corner of your screen there, it was going to come out five feet. And then of course, if you look right across from the end of that wall, you will see that's where the potty is. Now, this is, uh, this is where it gets a little bit technical, but not bad. The floor there where the shower and the potty and all that goes coming out even with the end of that uh, petition wall there is going to be raised six inches. And that's one of the reasons why we raised, why we got the trailer with a seven foot six inch height rather than a seven foot height. Reason being, we want to be able to utilize a special gizmo that uh, you can find in boats and sailboats and things like that uh, called a sump pump and the shower itself will drain into this sump pump and uh, then from there the sump pump will pick up the wastewater and it will pump it on over into the gray tank and we'll get to where the tanks are going to go in just a little bit so that whole section there roughly five feet deep by uh, four feet wide will all be raised six inches to accommodate that sump pump and then we'll also where the shower pan is there will be a side drain they call it a side drain which will drain you know out of the side <laughs> drain into that sump pump and then of course the liquid portion of our composting toilet will flow into that as well as well as our vanity as well as the vanity sink there that you see in the uh, in the diagram so all of that will flow into that sump pump right there and then it will go on over into the gray water tank. And then down below that, here again, we'll talk about it, the vanity sink you see, and then you see the little square there in the lower left hand corner of your screen. That is where a, uh, we, if, if you've followed us before, you know that we use these uh, cubes for storage. And uh, that will be a tower to hold cubes, to store uh, these cubes all the way to the ceiling right there. Now let's go back up to the top part of your screen and look on just on the other side of that wall petition and you'll see we have a, a nightstand there. Okay, now that nightstand will be roughly about 14 inches wide and here again the exact measurements it'll be somewhere between 13, 14 inches wide and that exact measurement is still yet to be determined. So that nightstand will come out to 24 inches, correct? That is correct. Yeah. And then on the other side of the bed frame, if you look over there, you'll see a nightstand there as well. And same thing, it'll come out 24 inches. Above those nightstands will be uh, closets on either side. Uh, the same width and everything that will go to the ceiling. Um, and now we just have one closet like that, but in this, in this trailer we're going to have two. And then between yep. the two closets above the bed will be overhead storage. Yes, we'll have for overhead the cubes storage. Again, exactly. We, we really like those. Yeah, we like that storage system with the cubes. We really do. It's simple and you can put a lot of stuff in there. Yeah. And the way Bill's designed those shelves, that they seem to hold up fairly well to all the weight I put in. Yeah. <laughs> now let's look to the left of the bed again, right in front of the nightstand. And you'll see I have written there step. And then on the other side of the bed frame, right in front of the nightstand going all the way to the opposite wall I have written step as well there will be a stair tread there and they will be the same width as the nightstands you know roughly 14 inches wide or so and they will be standard stair tread height which is roughly about nine inches so basically what we'll have on either side of the bed and there's other reasons why we're doing this and we'll get to that in a minute but basically on either side of the bed we will have these cavities that are uh, roughly 14 inches wide by nine inches tall that run the full width of the trailer right there and this will be perfect for uh, perfect chaseways for running wiring and things like that from one side over to the other side of the trailer now there's other reasons why we're doing this of course but first before we focus on that i want you to look at the bed frame right in the middle in between the steps and the nightstands the bed frame itself will be roughly about 19 inches tall, right there. And the main reason why it'll be that high is because underneath the bed will be where the fresh water tank and the gray water tank will be housed, right there. And we're going to have a 55 gallon fresh water tank and a 55 gallon gray water tank, right there. Now those will fit closer towards the headboard of the bed, which is also at the top of your screen which means that we may possibly have storage at the foot of the bed 
right there where we can store the things. And of course, the the actual mattress platform will be on hydraulic lifts, so we can lift it up from the uh, foot foot end of it, be be able to lift it up just like on Marvin and Mary's. If you saw Marvin and Mary's video, uh, we'll be doing that same way they did theirs. Now, if you see down below at the uh, at the very foot of the bed. First, look inside and you'll see a dotted line inside the bed. Well, that's actually where the bed frame itself will be, is where the dotted line is inside the bed. And that uh, means that uh, on the sides, the uh, actual uh, mattress platform on the sides will be cantilevered over roughly two inches on each side. On the end of it, the bed frame will stop roughly six inch shy of the bed platform to give an extra six inches of space right there and then of course you see where it says landing keep in mind this is an eight and a half wide trailer now a seven wide trailer has exactly the same track width as an eight and a half wide the difference on a seven foot wide trailer is the fenders are on the outside you know so the walls are built just on the inside of the fenders you know and hence it's narrower but on an eight and a half uh, the walls extend over the wheels so the fender wells are on the inside and those fender wells are roughly about 12 inches high there more or less yeah. yeah so we had to address how we could still utilize this as a walk around bed um, still be able to walk you know across the end of it so what we're going to do this landing will come out where it is the same height as the height of the fender well so when you step up to the bed on either side you'll step up on the first step which is a standard stair tread height of around nine inches and then when you hit the landing you'll step up another four to five inches or so depending on how that works out and then walk across the landing and then back down no it's not a perfect situation but it's uh that's the only way we could figure out how to deal with the uh the fact that we have fender wells in our way there and we still want to be able to traverse from one side of the bed to the other at night at night yeah <laughs> or and, bad weather <laughs> right like when i have to get up and go to the bathroom in the middle of the night now the neat thing about that area that will end up underneath the bed there it will be roughly uh 18 inches by five foot by 12 inches deep and i'm strongly considering because we will have at least one 300 amp hour uh, lithium ion phosphate battery and I said it that way for Marvin's benefit uh, because he corrects me if I just say lithium battery but it will have at least one lithium ion phosphate battery a 300 amp hour and we're looking at possibly putting it in that area there and of course this landing will make it in such a way where that can be popped out so we can get to whatever we need to get to there to uh, to service the area as well as the steps on either side they'll be made where they can pop out to service whatever wiring we have running um, down each side because or we don't we bury doing. wiring no we don't bury wiring <laughs> there will not be a single wire or, <laughs> or a single inch of plumbing that will be buried in the walls all of our wiring and plumbing will be run down chaseways where we'll have false panels where we can easily get to it and um, that's just the way I prefer to do things, or the way we prefer to do things, okay? Now also on that, at the foot of the bed, as you're looking where it says landing, and go back and look at the steps that will end up on, on the opposite side of the trailer there. Imagine, if you will, there will also be columns 14 inches wide and roughly about two or three inches deep that will head straight to the ceiling there. And of course you can't, you know, we didn't draw that on the diagram because I can't do a 3D to show you. <laughs> But those columns going up will be chaseways as well, and they'll be roughly two or three inches deep, like I say, by the width of the steps, 14 inches wide, which will serve uh, perfectly as chaseways. The one on the bathroom side will be a perfect chaseway for when we do get solar panels. That'll be the perfect chaseway to bring the wiring down from the solar panels right down into that. Then it'll come right down and be able to go into the charge controller uh, if we have enough space in or underneath that landing to do it. And then of course into the battery from there. Uh, we're also planning on having a 3000 watt uh, pure sine wave inverter as well. And if there's enough room to put it under the landing, we'll do that as well. But uh, if not, we should be able to put it in the step 
on the uh, on the opposite side of the bed, opposite of the bathroom on the other side. We should be able to put that inverter there. But the whole idea is try to get everything as close as possible, you know, to and have it where it's easily serviceable. That's the main thing. So, so keep in mind on the at the foot of the bed, up against the wall where those steps land into the side wall, there will be columns going up to the ceiling and um, there will be 12 volt wiring on one set well be, be the panel the uh, solar panel will come down on the bathroom side and the main solar uh, or the main 12 volt system wiring will be going up on the other column on the opposite side there so that's our basic plan and here again all this is subject to change a little bit as time goes on inch but, by inch yeah it's <laughs> inch by inch and things like that that none of this is set in total stone but uh, this is uh, this is our uh, this is what we're thinking. Now, let's move on past the bed, go further to our right, and up at the top of your screen, uh, you'll see where I have the word couch with a big question mark right there. Um, we are hoping to end up, and which I know that we will easily that much. We're we're planning on ending up with at least 48 inches there to put a 48 inch couch there, you know, like a love seat there. And then you also see above that where it says uh, service cavity. Well, that service cavity will be roughly 36 inches high, six inches out from the wall. And that's also another place where we'll probably mount the water pump, the accumulator, things like that behind that cavity. And the thickness of it will be determined how much room we need for the pump and things like that. And then, of course, some wiring and also the uh, the uh, uh, gray water that will gravity drain from the sink on beyond that from the kitchen sink will will run down that uh, <clears throat> that as cavity well as, as well. our 50 amp electric will be coming in right yeah there. yeah our 50 amp electric will be coming in there that's our plan for right now somewhere along in that area there uh, we want to have our 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 main panel where we can get to it easily and we want to have our uh, 12 volt master shutoff switches where we can get to them easily uh, and of course it just stands to reason that the 12 volt master switches for the 12 volt system need to be as close to the battery as possible of course of obviously course. so if you look beyond where the couch is and where the, the uh, service well is or the service cavity then uh, right there we're hoping we'll have a uh, pantry. pantry area <laughs> slash broom closet and it may or may not be as wide as you see it right there but we'll we'll here deal with whatever we're flexible we have. on that yeah yeah because <laughs> right and, now i don't have a broom closet at all right, so, so if i can end up with any place to store a broom i'll be thrilled <laughs> well i know for a fact that you're going to have enough room to store a broom and then some and maybe a mop yeah a broom and a mop maybe and i'm mop sure we're going to have some pantry area in there as well i'm sure it's going to work out to that you know it's just a little we may have to do minor little tweaks as we go along mm -hmm. and then of course right next to that obviously is the sink cabinet and that way all of our plumbing is on one wall yeah basically more right or less down. except for what runs over to the little mm -hmm. bathroom vanity mm -hmm. and then of course uh coming around the nose of it you see there's going to be a countertop there and of course what that does not reflect is the fact that there will be built-ins above that as well uh that's where we'll have our uh, uh cooktop is right in the i want there. i want the induction cooktop right. in that countertop up above that allowing about 17 inches i want a uh built-in microwave mm -hmm. below the induction cooktop i want a built-in toaster oven um which will be in the below in the, below, below below the countertop below the, know, induction the bottom, not, not, not so not that, in that upper and then part. up above the microwave uh -huh. is the entry or whatever you call it the vent thingy for the mini split well, yeah, the uh, the inside portion of the mini split will be mounted in the valance uh, uh, at the very top above there, like it was in Marvin and Mary's trailer. If y'all watch that particular, it seems video like we're there. copying Marvin and Mary an awful lot. A little bit, we are. Yes, we are. <laughs> Thank you, Marvin and Mary. Yeah, and uh, that'll just make Mary just smile like crazy. Yeah, you know, you think, hey, I, I should build something anyway. But yeah. Um, and then, of course, you come on around the corner, and then there's going to be another cabinet right there, and then, of course come on back towards the side door there and you'll see where that's where the, that's where the refrigerator is going to be and we're hoping that well we know we will the refrigerator will be lifted off the floor a ways and then that section underneath the refrigerator is probably what we will have uh, we'll have an area there to uh, stick our shoes and things that's, like that that's the plan yes because right now yeah. our shoes are just you know yeah kind of 
wherever. <laughs> right. Now, something else about this that we didn't mention at first, and I meant to, uh, normally in an eight and a half by 20, uh, they have recessed foot wheels, foot wells at the door. And we eliminated the recessed foot wells and, uh, you know, where the whole floor is totally flat everywhere. So, uh, uh, we just didn't want those foot wells there because it's much harder to trim around those and we'll just have taller steps as we walk in, you know, right. so what? Big we deal. eliminated the foot wells mm -hmm. and we had them raise the doors yeah. a little bit. That's another thing I was going to mention. Uh, those doors will be raised up about an inch and a quarter off of the floor. The actual threshold of the door will be an inch and a quarter up off the floor and the reason why. On this one, we are going to insufflate the floor a little bit. Uh, we're going insulate? to insulate? Yeah. <laughs> Okay. It's so late. Pick on me some more. Um, but yes, we are going to uh, insulate the floor and we'll be insulating it with uh, three quarter inch foam. And then, of course, we'll be putting uh, another layer of plywood on top of that three quarter inch foam. And yes, it will be, uh, it will be running stringers, you know, so it'll have plenty of support and all that stuff. Uh, I'm not going to just put the plywood directly to the three quarter inch foam all by itself. Okay. There will be a framework involved that we will build there as well. I can't think of anything else that we need to mention about this. Can no, you, you it's know? just, as Bill said, this is all our plan. Things can change slightly, yeah. um, and we know that. Yeah. And, of course, we will have overhead storage oh, yeah. everywhere we can possibly stick mm -hmm. it in. <laughs> so that's the basic design. Of course, there will be tweaks along the way. It won't come out exactly like this, but it will be close to this. And we know that this particular design will not appeal to everyone. No, you know? no. But here hey, again. that's the beauty of doing yeah. this. You can do it. You can think about it. And Lord knows we've been thinking. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and no, there won't be a Murphy bed, but we are going to have a position for a couch. And here again, this bed where the Murphy bed, uh, Murphy bed, where the Murphy <laughs> bed will not be because we won't have a Murphy bed, where the bed is and where the water tanks will be and where the battery bank will be and all that. And yes, I am looking at the ways that I can vent the battery bank for those who are concerned. But um, uh, where that is, is directly over the axle center line, which, which, which I we, prefer to build it Well, we, and we're trying real hard to make sure if we put something on this wall, we put something over yeah. here to balance out. Exactly. Because we understand that balance, weight balance is very, very important. Right. When we built this particular trailer, we weighed everything as we went in. And we, we, we knew, you know, how much weight we were putting towards the back. We knew how much weight we were putting towards the front. We knew how much we were putting side to side. And we'll be doing the same thing with this build as well. We'll be weighing everything as we go and everything will be calculated out to try to get it as even as possible. And of course, our goal will be to uh, attain the proper tongue weight when it's all said and done. Uh, so that's, uh, that's our plan. That's so there plan. it is. And we're so, just sitting here waiting for the trailer yeah, to get done. Right. <laughs> and we did talk to the uh, trailer manufacturer uh, yesterday and uh, it's possible that our trailer may be ready to pick up earlier than we originally anticipated. So maybe we'll be able to get this build on the road sooner than we thought. Wouldn't that be awesome? Yeah, that'd be absolutely cool. <laughs> yeah. So anyway, this is, uh, this is where we are right now. Uh, we've had several po folks reach out to us. Uh, they wanted to see our Amazon wish list, so we have emailed our Amazon wish list to a few folks. Uh, that might want to... Uh, and I add to that daily as we think of something new. <laughs> yeah. It's like, okay, do we have, do we have this? <laughs> here again, that doesn't mean that we expect no, no, folks no, no, to buy no, stuff no. for us at all. You know? It's something um, that we're putting in our yeah, wish those. list because we don't want, when we get right down to it, we want to be able to say, okay, where was that? Order it, get yeah, it here. Right. So, but those that uh, have expressed a desire to help us along with this build, and we can't tell you how much we appreciate that, uh, we do have an address now where you can start uh, uh, having stuff shipped there if you so desire, okay? So uh, reach out to us again through email, and we'll have the email posted. It'll be a pinned comment at the very beginning uh, at, on this video, and also it'll, the email address will be in the description. And uh, I guess we'll put the Amazon wish list in the uh, description as well. Yeah, we you can know. do that too. Yeah, we can do that as well. So anyway, I don't know what else to say right now, but uh, looks like things are coming along uh, good. 
And well, you may you may be putting me to work a whole lot sooner than I originally anticipated. It's all right. He's done nothing but rest the last couple of months. <laughs> Not <Right>? really, <laughs> but anyway, I think it's time we said goodbye. Okay. What do you think? <laughs> Probably. <laughs> Y'all take care, and uh, and remember, folks. Uh, we're not camping. We're living. Y'all get out there and do some living as well. We'll see you again soon. Bye-bye now. Bye.